In this video, we'll give an overview of the different container software and compute platforms that are supported for this tutorial. First, let's talk about container software. There are a number of different container software out there, but there are two supported for this tutorial, and those are Docker and Singularity. Docker is probably the most common and leading software containerization platforms, and it was the first one used in this project. Singularity is another popular container software. It's able to convert and use existing Docker images, and its ability to run without root permissions makes it a popular tool for HPC platforms. This table provides an overview of features and recommendations for this tutorial only. It is not a generalized comparison between these two softwares. For this tutorial, both Docker and Singularity were thoroughly tested and supported for use on AWS. Docker is also tested and supported for Mac OS. We found nuances and difficulties in installing Singularity on Mac laptops, so this remains an unsupported feature. Using Docker to run on Windows and Linux has been tested, so we know it works, but due to limited testing availability, there may be issues not identified or with provided solutions. Docker is not recommended for HPCs due to the need for root permissions, but Singularity has been tested for this tutorial on NCARS Cheyenne. We have not explored multi-node capabilities for this tutorial with Docker in great depth, but we do have examples of this capability using Singularity. And as mentioned before, Docker requires root privileges, whereas Singularity does not require it to run, but it does require root permissions to install. There are two types of compute platforms to run this tutorial on. This could be a local machine, which could be a Mac OS or a Windows, but it needs to have Linux or Unix terminal access and the required software installed, like Docker or Singularity. Or it could be on cloud platforms. And for this project, we use AWS. You'll need your own AWS account to use this platform with the tutorial. The next sections of the online tutorial We'll go over how to get started running on a local machine or running on the cloud using AWS.